Welcome to Germany. Welcome to the Audi RS3. Welcome to one of Germany's best creations, the Autobahn. Man, I love Germany. And what a way to start this video than hooning at over 150 miles per hour in this brand new 2022 Audi RS3. Now I'm on this for a while and then we're going to make our way into the mountains and hopefully enjoy some pretty incredible driving roads and I'll be able to give you my thoughts and feelings on this new Audi RS3. However, before we do that, we've got to thank this week's video sponsor and that is BOTB.com. They are the number one car competition company and have been around for 22 years. And they are giving you the chance to win a brand new car and up to 50,000 pounds cash in the boot. What more could you want? Now, tickets for this gorgeous Audi RS3 start from £1.40 uh, and you've got a selection of over 180 cars to choose from, including up to 20 Audis. Now, make sure to check the links in the description below. Uh, and make sure to tell me which car you'll be playing for as well. So yeah, good luck and uh, let's crack on. Man, what a car. So what do we know about this new Audi RS3? Well, first things first, we get the legendary 2.5 five-cylinder engine. We're used to that. We've seen it in previous gen models. However, this one here has had a little bit of a torque boost per se. Uh, this runs 400 PS and 500 Newton meters of torque. That now means that this will do zero to 62 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds. And we'll test that a bit later on. Now, not only do, will it do zero to 62 in 3.8 seconds, but this is the first ever Audi RS car. In fact, first ever, no, first ever Audi RS car to come with torque splits, basically drift mode. <laughs> now, prices for this car start from around about 53,000 pounds. And also, this now holds the compact car record at the Nürburgring. So Audi have taken the, well, they've taken it back to Mercedes because the A45S, let's face it, was the hyper hatch to go for. However, now there's a new kid on the block. Oh, that's fast. That's really fast. It proper squats down as well, this thing. Wow. So that's 3.8, zero to 60. But we've managed to get off the autobahn a bit now. And now I want to see what this thing's like in terms of its handling. We're now on a bit of a mountain pass. <laughs> wow. Now immediately, of course, we are four wheel drive. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm in RS performance mode now and I'm trying to see just kind of what it's like with the, um, with that kind of torque through the rear. feels so much more on edge. One of the things that Austria has as well, in fact, just Europe is these brilliant, brilliant mountain passes where you can really unleash a car. And actually, whilst the weather conditions are not ideal, and in fact, to be fair, they're really not ideal. I would have preferred for this to be bone dry, but actually what this allows me to do is really unleash the quattro performance of the rs3 now we are on winter tires as well so i've got more grip than you would normally get than if you were on you know some michelins or some pirellis but and when i mean michelin pirellis i'm talking about kind of summer tire 
but this is doing extremely well in terms of its handling. I'm really, really impressed. I'm powering on, I'm pressing on, and I'm not really getting any hint of understeer. If anything, I'm getting oversteer. I'm getting that feeling of rather than you know me being pulled along, I feel like there's more oomph towards the back. And actually, as I come out of a corner, I can feel the back being pushed forward, which is actually really good. It's great to see that in an RS3. And the brakes, the brakes are good. I'm on the, the six pot steels that you can opt for the carbon ceramics. It will cost you a fortune. But, you know, if you're gonna hit, if you're gonna hit the track, then you're probably gonna be better off with ceramics. But I mean, right now, no hint of brake fade, nothing. I'm just taking every corner in its stride. And this is honestly, well, it's a phenomenal bit of road, but this car, is just superb. I mean, that's just, that's just ridiculous, isn't it? The amount, the levels of grip that this car gives you is just next level. In terms of the cabin, that there are some big, oh wow, hello. In terms of its cabin, there are some big changes in here. We've still got these brilliant kind of RS seats with a kind of honeycomb pattern in terms of their stitching and they do look incredibly nice. I've got lovely Alcantara here inside the cabin as well. And one of the big more noticeable things is kind of the changes. You've got different displays now in the RS3. Now for me, it just takes a little bit of time to get used to it more than anything because with the RS mode you've got these two kind of train lines and the revs come towards you which feels quite you're not normally used to seeing that but I think it's quite cool it's different I like that from Audi now of course we get the big kind of screen with the uh, which, which which you're used to seeing in all of the newer models more than anything we've got the nice little kind of dual zone climate control system here which is button based which i do like i always prefer these things with buttons it just makes things a lot more easy more tactile um, we get wireless charging in here as well we've got some nice storage in here the steering wheel feels good it's not flat bottom in this specific car we get the addition of an rs button and obviously, as you're seeing now, I'm currently in RS performance mode, but you can configure all of them so that when you press the buttons, you get two modes. You can have them set how you want them to be. And of course, also you've got RS torque mode, which is the rear wheel drive option, which is the drift mode. Now we'll park up and I'll talk you through kind of some of the changes and what you'd expect from each of the packs because, I mean, I'm having so much fun right now. Does look good though, doesn't it? The new Audi RS3 facelift, as in the front end. I think, I think I quite like it. And the funny thing is, is that the grill has got pretty enormous, but no one said anything about the Audi RS3 grill in comparison to what BMW did. We get new wheels on this car. We also get kind of wider front arches because the, the track on the RS3 is actually a little bit wider than the old car. And it's also a little bit longer. So it's kind of like a bit stocky. Now this and most of all of the Audi press cars that are here for this launch are all launch edition cars and as I said earlier on in the video all launch edition cars are sold out but here's a breakdown between uh, Carbon, Launch and Vorsprung. So uh, Carbon Black you get obviously everything that you get to the base level RS3 but you get 19 inch wheels and RS Sports exhaust, you get matrix LED headlights, you get dynamic front and rear indicators, you get an all black roof, get RS features including gloss black styling packs and you get a full carbon trim in terms of the in, uh, interior trim. Uh, the launch edition one gets everything I've just mentioned plus the Bagen Olufsen sound system, the adaptive drive select, adaptive cruise assist, you get red brake calipers with front RS logos, reverse camera, advanced key, phone box and wireless charging, panoramic roof, camera based traffic sign recognition, electric tailgate, head up display, and your speed is increased to 174 miles per hour. The only difference between that and the Vorsprung is that you get 360 degree cameras on the Vorsprung and you get different wheels. The back looks a bit of an embarrassment, doesn't it? Well, that's what happens when you drive a car properly out here on these kind of road trips. But as you can see from the back, um, it's got a really muscular presence to it with those two huge uh, oval exhausts, which is what you always find in RS cars. 
We've also kind of got those matrix LED headlights on the rear, which kind of do a nice little design pattern when you open and close the car. Um, and also we have get almost what I like to call a bit of a, bu a bumper divider. So kind of subtle styling cues uh, on the rear bumper as well. So there you go. This is the Audi RS3 Sportback. I mean, what are my final thoughts? Well, how can I summarize this? Well, quite truly magnificent car. It is absolutely sensational. I love everything about it. I mean, my only, the only things I'm not a huge fan of is the color. I said that about the S3, Python yellow. It's, it's not something that I would personally spec, although now that it's completely filthy, it does look a bit rally cross. The other thing which I think is just something to be mindful of is the price, because these start from 53,000. When you start to throw options in, you know, you're, you're, you're probably pushing the higher end of 60K, maybe even more. And the thing is nowadays with pricing and new cars, it's just an awful lot of money, but you do get an awful lot of car. The biggest takeaway for me in this car is just the way that you can really feel the car pushing you out the corner rather than pulling you, whereas that's what I felt in the older cars anyway. You can really feel that kind of, that rear bias, that push in that performance mode to, to make the car feel more dynamically agile. And yeah, look, this RS3 is brilliant. But I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I've, obviously, I'm ending it here in the mountains of Austria. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.